nice and this is um some kind of soft glam bridal makeup tutorial so get your concealer or primer concealer foundations i usually use two different kinds of foundation one is less covered one is more then you set it whatever powder you like to set it with i usually like to um do sunscreen powder or max setting powder then you put eye primer because you don't want to crease and then you set shadow and then we'll put some highlight blush we'll put some contour make sure you blend those out well you can go as bold with that as you want you can go as subtle as you want it's really up to you and now we're gonna do the brows powder add some extra concealer there just to make those brows Eyelash primer, I like to use that. We'll get the gold eyeshadow. Now you can choose any other shimmery eyeshadow that you like. You can choose pinks, copper, gold, silver, depending on your theme on your dress. Now we need a darker tone. You can do brown, burgundy, toast, um, whatever fits your theme again. Now we could do one or two shades based on your base and medium tone. Now, <clears throat> I chose to kind of go with the brown theme here. You line your eyelash line and then the crease. Make sure you line it out well. And a little bit of going out, like a little bit of cap, I guess. Um, then I'm doing the lips and I forgot to put the primer on to show you usually using my primer. Um, put the uh, mascara, waterproof mascara, because you might cry, you might get, you know, it's rain, so you want to <clears throat> be prepared. Waterproof mascara. Um, you can put, also, I didn't put eyeliner on this video. I'm always looking backwards. But um, you can, you know, add some, uh, using pressed powder to kind of fix up any eyeshadow that you to create that flawless look and then I decided to add more gold shimmer on my eyes so I'm using this Jane Hardell lighter gold pencil and putting some inside the crease. They also have silver ones that are like too. This one using gold and some extra highlight too with the eyeshadow I find it makes the eyes pop in the uh, inner corner there and pretty much like you could set it set the you know have spray setter and be done with this look for more natural but you know if you want more you can add eyeliner like uh, I'm using like a wedge eyeliner have not really a cap this is more like a wedge I would say or you could go bold and do like a big cap eyeliner Make sure, though, you practice on that, that you get the both even on both eyes, so you could get even with the less eyeliner, like just not even wet, just like right above your eyelash. Eyelash line just to get that thicker eyelash illusion, and then also I'm going to put the brow gel too. I kind of like because it says brows but then you can use some even extra touch with some individual lashes or strip lashes. Strip lashes is going to be the most brand of that. And that's it. That's pretty much the look, guys. And then you can add also lip gloss. If you depends if you want a matte lip or you want glossy lip. Just remember, it might be harder to reapply like this look let me know what you think and have fun on your wedding day bye if you like to book us for your wedding makeup services get in touch at yolita brilliant.com see you later bye have a brilliant day